I'm Lawrence Hill in Hamilton. My parents were Americans, down the hill a black man and down the hill a white woman, who married in the American South in 1953 and left the next day for Canada. They spent their lives in the human rights and black history movements. Most of my family still lives in the United States. Why has George Floyd's death ignited such horror and protest? We saw it on video. It's a modern day lynching of a black man by a white cop. The murder is a culmination of a perfect storm. Our two countries were built on the immoral foundations of slavery and segregation. In 2015, we witnessed the killing of nine black people who were engaged in Bible study in a church in Charleston. In February, we witnessed the murder of Ahmed Arbery, a black man who went out for a jog in Georgia. The victims of COVID-19 are disproportionately black folks, newcomers, people of color, and poor people. The man in the White House and his enablers show nothing but contempt for black folks, Muslims, Mexicans, refugees, and women. Canadians from Dawson City to St. John's can tell you about American slavery, the Civil War, and the fight to desegregate America. But how many Canadians can tell you that Peter Russell, a prominent legislator and cabinet minister in late 18th century Upper Canada, was a slave owner? How many know that slavery was part of the fabric of life in PEI, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Quebec, and Ontario? How many Canadians can name Andrew Loku, Jermaine Carby, and Michael Elegon as just three of the many black Canadians who've been killed by police in recent years? Today, many black parents in Canada are afraid. Will our children keep their hands on the steering wheel when they get pulled over? Will they come home alive? We've been saying the same things for decades. Are you ready to act and listen? Our children need safety, respect, and good education in schools. We need police forces, courts, and prisons that do not come down unfairly on black people. We need a recognition of who we are, where we've been, and where we are today. We need an equal footing in this country. We need what all folks need.